One, but that will be her last attempt. Here comes uh, Laura Dana Toma, former world champion, three times European champion, but in her career, also disqualified for one period of her competition life. Well, she just made that look so easy. Yeah, best lift, David. Yeah, you've got to give that uh, compliment to her because that was technically extremely good, very fast. Yeah, but like it's way down on her best. And as you said, a tarnished reputation. She's still commanding the competition in the snatch. She is a phenomenal snatcher. Very, very good technically as are. Into gold. The only woman who can take the gold medal away from her is Laura Danatoma. As I said, she's actually got a historical personal best of 113. She's gone to 117, which is a six kilo increase. Now, this is also what she reckons to be well within her compass and to build an advantage towards the second half of the competition and the overall total. So Sarah's guaranteed a silver, whatever. And it will be silver for Sarah. And Sarah's silver means that Great Britain have now become the 16th nation at these championships to get a medal. This was as good as the first. Absolutely superb technically, that much you cannot deny. And she... So, Loredana Toma. 30 years of age, looking for a fourth European title. And uh, you can see where the bar's gone to now. One, one, four. From that second successful attempt of 107. So a seven kilo increase. So she's conscious, Mikhaila. She needs the kilos, maybe. She does well to fight it. That's a good lift. Yeah, it is a good lift. Three out of three. So in that respect, she joins Sarah Davis, or Sarah Davis joins Laura Dana Toma. And at the halfway stage of the Championship of Europe at 64 kilos for women, it's uh, Romania being pursued by Great Britain. He really has to work hard under the bar, but that's a fantastic lift. Well, we'll see what kind of shape she's in in the second half of the competition because she knows that she needs every kilo on the snatch to stay in a really strong position. So, uh, Romania, Loredana, to be a weight category, and now Toma. Just to effectively re-establish her advantage. Well, Toma at her very, very best, 136 kilos. Is she as good as that today? Does she need to be as good as that today? No, she doesn't need to be. But here, it looks like she's out to prove something. She's out to prove what shape she's in. The snatch was unbelievable, 114. Now here, only, what's this, 23. So hardly any difference between. Lifter to represent the athletes of the world on the IWF for Athletes uh, Commission. But now Toma, well, she has a job to do. Well, it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? That was 130. That was another uh, seven kilo increase. I she's, just got no words. She's having a laugh at the competition. 
I, I, do, 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 I, I'm going to say this, and I'm probably going to get shot for saying it. Look, we know she's got a reputation for doping. The question is, how much of an impact has that had on her now? Even if clean now, she's had, she's got muscle memory, she's been there. It's so much easier to get back to those kind of numbers, and she's beyond best weights here. I mean, her two years absence from the sport was between 2014 and 2016. 113 was her PB. It's now 114. Her clean and jerk personal best is 118. So 114 is a new snatch record. 136 is the standard for the clean and jerk. And 137, you can see where she's headed right now. So this would be a new, or as it were, establishing the record in the women's 64 kilo clean and jerk. No, another day. And she's got her eyes set on the Tokyo Olympics. She's just having a little run out here. Still a few months to put the last preparations, but she's clearly going to be going into the Olympic Games in the best shape of her life. Absolutely right. And this is a fourth European title that she's won. She won the world title in 2017 in Anaheim in the United States at 63 kilos. European championships, well, she won in Batumi in 2019.